Bernard wageni wangu wa introduce tukianza na wa kwanza upon my right so what's your name okay kwa majina naitwa Ivarose Fred and we are co-owners of Chef Creations kwa majina ni Mary Fred mimi ni co-owners kwa kampuni ya Chef Creation so mm, okay mlianza biashara yenu lini biashara yetu last year April yeah so last year April mlikuwa somewhere else ama hapa kwa hapa tu naivas but now we've shifted kwa hiyo branch tulikuwa tukafungua ingine huku due to corona tulifunga ile cuz most of our, our customers walikuwa students so vile mashule zilifungwa ikatushake kidogo but now we are up again. Nona kuna chapati pale. Nona we have mandazi here. So uh -huh. we, have, uh, we are making coffee, white tea, nylon, hot chocolate, spicy rice. We are making chicken. We are making beef stew. Uh, and uh, chapati spicy chapati. We are making cinnamon mandazi. Yeah. yeah, we do orders. Sasa zingine mtu anaweza taka like ako na party we make them. Sasa zingine ako anataka kama bashi hivi pia watu natengeneza. Tuna supply pia kwa maduka. Yeah, tumekava areas like Madare, Naivas, Lakisama and Riverside. Na sasa hizi tunataka kuingia hadi tao hadi IWST zote tutakuwa tuna supply. What made you to choose kwa partners? Okay, uh, kilinifanya ni mchague. For one, we I, I wanted a partner who is who will be faithful, mwenye atakuwa maaminifu and mwenye we are in the same faith with. Like now we are all believers of Christ and what God is doing we are seeing his grace on us and his mercies because if you are not for God for us, kama si God angekuwa kwa side yetu actually atungeme kufika mal tumefika but because we are ako, ako katika imani moja we are in one faith of Christ we can't even believe the first day we had an overflow here paka tunachangaga how will we serve because we told God father we allow you to take charge and reign for your glory let the food we make be the medicine to the bodies of people that will be taking and let everything that we do glorify your name for it's only you that has started the job. So we are so thankful and grateful for us as partners and we are so happy of what God is doing. I was uh, working at Pizza Inn, Insco Kenya Limited, now Simpiza brand. So by the time I was, asking, I was working there, I, I worked there five years in employment. Then I, we said, I said that I'm going to start my business, so me, I'm going to employ people. I, I graduated from diploma now to degree level, and right now I'm doing degree in uh, my, my degree in theology. And so I was asking God, now where will money come from? I don't have enough source of money to cater for the fees. And now I told God, give me a new, new idea, unipeka idea kampia tu kabisa, kaku invest so that I cater for my school fees. And I was wondering, what do I do? Do I do the jewelry? Do I do what? Because personally, right now, I'm doing, uh, I'm, fa I'm in fashion and design. I do fashion and design. I do wedding gowns, bridals. I do African attire for men, for, for women, kitenges. And, uh, and, and I was telling God, this one is not enough for, to cater for my needs and the needs of my children and my family and how to serve you. So God, all of a sudden, bring this idea bring this friend to me then we sit down then we discuss now what do we do what next let's not pata. okay so we can do food industry let's now start this one now and now it is doing so well glory to god we thank our senior pastor pastor charles mtuko and his wife pastor uh pastor gladys mtuko they've been of great help can encourage someone and tell him and one thing, follow your passion. Whatever you feel in your heart you want to do for the glory of God, do it with all you have, with all your strength, with all your might, because at the end, 
never despise the humble beginning for his end shall be so great. So chambie mbona mli decide kuingia biz ya food mbona si ni nyingine why ya food Tuliona tuingie biz ya food cuz definitely lazima tukule yeah siezi enda buy nguo na niko na nje unaona siezi for example lazima lazima mtu akue na chakula kwa tumbo so tuliona tukiingia kwa biashara ya nguo mtu na hii corona vile iko siezi imepeleka mtu anaona ah badala ya kubai nguo si unaona so tuliona biz ya food iko sawa lazima awezi enda kwa nyumba bila shilingi ya sasa challenges gani mmepitia kwanza before hapo covid covid ilikaa like this year sio and mlikuwa forced to shut down at some point hapo hiyo ili affect aje bees and kwa inafanyika like mandazi i used to make like 500 trays per day so vile corona ilikuja ili affect sasa hata sikuwa naweza kufanya supply so like chapati we used to make uh, like one and a half bill so vile students walienda tulikuwa tuna mikondi two packets per day so you know that margin vile ilikuwa kubwa so tukavona wacha tu tufunge for sometimes tu ngoje mashule zifanye nini zifunguliwe then we start afresh ah sasa nikasema badala ya kukaa tu tuombe Mungu atulete some customers wengine si students peke yake so vile tuli set up tukatufungua hii base mpya sasa hata tuna serve watu si pia students so students tunapata sasa hizi vile wako bado walikuja but ni wachache so tuna serve pia watu wa nje apart from students kama unaona unga tulikuwa tunachukua kitambo tulikuwa tunaweza pata na 1150 imeshoot uh, vitu tulikuwa tunachukua kama cooking oil tulikuwa tunachukua kama 2300 size imeshoot up to 3000 unaona so inapata zile profit tulikuwa tunapata those day inabidi tunapandisha tena base za products na so kitambo customer aingie eti tumeka hiyo bei gali wanaona yeah eh do you, mnafanya deliveries e, everywhere ama there kuna places specific zenye bado amjaanza ku deliver ya yeah, ingia places like town hapa size tunafanya tu naivas waraka area la kisama riverside yeah into moto na mtu ana watch his high price price range zako hivi za uh, maybe mandazi chapo hizo food yeah like mandazi we sell uh, at 150 one tray yeah chapati we sell at 20 bob msia kitaka ku order anaweza order aje tuna akioda tunaanza ku deliver kuanzia 5 yeah 5 to 10 Yeah. Yeah. Anaweza call through our number. Our number is 0720 396 713 or 0710 827 317. Yeah. Yeah, we have even sit in. Yeah. Anaka na kula ya direction uh, Ruaraka Naivas branch. Yeah, along that road ni to drive in road alafu ni ingia hiyo placement tiko a base point tuko hapo ndani yeah and we were forgetting we also doing outside catering. catering if you have a bash a party you can call us we do you your thing you enjoy yourself and again uh, we do also donuts we do donuts yes maybe a young person mwenye maybe pia ana struggle ku maybe find out maybe what they like to do unaweza unaweza mu advice me tuba tumepata kufanya tufanye usidharau chochote do not despise humble begin hata mtu akikwambia fagia cho you just do it unaona badala ya unaona sasa zile pia umekaa peke yako you don't have something to do bad thoughts zinakukujia kwa mind yako unaona unaanza kufikiria hivi unaanza kufikiria hivi unaona basi zile umepata, umepata kazi ya kufanya hata hizo bad thoughts azifanye nini azikukuji so unapata hiyo kidogo hiyo humble kidogo kidogo umefanya umefanya kidogo kidogo siku moja inakuja inafanya nini ina grow kwa big thing unajipata umevuka mile unaona sasa hizi bila sama shule zimefungwa unapata ma youths wako idol nini unaona uki ukijitolea hata ni same for example sasa hizi biashara ya mask by day imetoka unapata watu wanauza wanauza unaona so hata useme upate 5 bob 5 bob 5 bob unaona ukichanga 
mkichanga mkichanga unaona ni pesa by the end of the day unapata kama unaweza hata kuuza 1000 mask hiyo ni pesa ngapi unaona inarudisha do badala kukaa tu huko idle so sisi hatuogopagi kuanza chochote in fact as we start eh. okay uh, what i know so clear is that an idle mind is a workshop of the devil you <laughs> Wakati unajiweka so idle, the enemy will automatically start speaking to you na kwenyeshe how useless you are, na kwenyeshe how hopeless you are, na kwenyeshe you, you are going nowhere. In fact, what you can now do, anza kufanya, unaza jipata umeza kufanya vitu funny that you are not even up to, to you are not even, you, you didn't even thought of doing. But because now you are idle, Najipata most of the time hasa najipata kwa shughuli zenye hazifai. So my advice to vijana ama to my fellow women whether you are a housewife or, or working class somewhere but you think like uh, you you feeling like stress of like I can be sucked out of this job then nibaki sina kitu cha kufanya ama I've been a housewife for so long and now I, I, I really need to do something. Ama, there's nothing, you think there's nothing you can do? Or, and by the way, this kind of job, si lazima mtu usome ufike ukwena ma masters, ma degree, ma what, ndi uu unezafanya kitu. You can do all things. The Bible says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So long as Christ is your strength, doesn't matter the level of your education. Doesn't matter the car you drive, the machine that you drive. Doesn't matter how you dress. Doesn't matter where you live. But so long as you believe in your heart that if the Lord is my strength, that he can make you do all things through him who strengthens you, you can start whatever you want to start. Whether it's a, 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 a Njugukaranga thing, Uza njugu karanga, weda ata, ata kama ni, ni, ni skuma. Usiogope kuanza chochote, my, my, my fellow woman, my mom, my sister, my brother. Usiogope, useme. Like sir, for example, unapata during this COVID, watu wengu wali affectiwa. The learned, wata wenye ujasoma. Kwanza the learned wali affectiwa sana. Because wakosha zo hili maisha, ya pale ju. Asa na imagine, kwanza from the scratch, and I'm like the world is crumbling down. But I want to tell you, don't see like everything is over. It is not over until it is all over. Start whatever you want to start, whatever you, 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 you are being pushed, you feeling your heart is pushing you to do, so long as it's glorifying God, heavens will back you up. The angels that minister in marketplace, because it's a market thing you are starting, they will supply you with the clients you will not even know where they will come from but i assure you you will sell and you'll make profit for the glory of god at least me to host najom nachelewa kupika but thank you so much for having us i hope people start to make those orders so that wraps it up for today's episode See you next time. Bye.